So once you have the drivers installed, um, you'll want to actually um, connect your, you want to go ahead and connect your mini whoop uh, with the cable it came with, the Pablo Pimto and your USB. Um, you do want to make sure that you do have a small fan on it. I have this fan here that works really well. It just sits, it just sits on there and blows air basically <laughs> like any other little fan. And uh, it just helps to uh, keep it cool when you have the battery connected. I don't think you have to do it when the battery is not connected. So, <clears throat> uh, let's see. And so let's go and open Betaflight real quick. So I went in and got Betaflight up. Again, I had the cable connected to my mini route. And I'll go and hit connect. You want to verify you move it around. And you see moving, of course. Great. So, we're going to go ahead and connect the battery to it. All right, uh, let's go ahead and turn the goggles on. So, basically, this is going to help you if you need to connect your goggles. Turn the goggles on. Turn the uh, controller and the goggles on. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to pair I have the Avada 2 so the first thing you want to do is you want to pair these two devices they're probably already paired but still so what you'll do is you'll hold the power button down on the goggles till it start beeping you'll do the same thing on the remote hold down And then when they all start beep, when they stop beeping, you see all the lights just solid, or the battery light, whatever, then you know they're paired. All right, so I have visual already. So what you want to do, uh, first thing is you'll want to go to status, go to status, click on that, and click on switch. And you'll want to select DJI 04 or 04 air unit. Uh, once you do that, you'll actually get, you'll get a message like this to switch. Um, I already have it I already have it selected so I'm not gonna worry about it now what you need to do is you need to pair your the mini whoop to the actual goggles okay so once you do that on the status to put that to the 04 put the goggles to the 04 unit um, then what you want to do is you want to my my lights green because it's already paired your light will be red. There's a little button there. You want to press that, hold it down, and then it's going to start blinking red. Uh, that means it's basically in buying mode. Then again, you want to hold down the power on the actual goggles just like you did before, and it will pair with the actual drum. And then you should have video. There's some settings that you need to change in Betaflight and on the, um, the goggles three to get this to work where you get everything connected for video. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and go through that. So let me go ahead and bring up beta flight. <clears throat> First of all, you, what you want to do is, uh, of course, you want to back up your settings. And you can look at plenty of videos about that when you first get your uh, device. Uh, but this actually is going to be a mine, the beta flight, I mean, the uh, Pavel Femto. Uh, the first thing it said is CRSF. And you want to change that to SBUS. Um, inside the goggles also you want to change that to fast S bus hold on one second you go to controller and the protocol is set to standard but you want to set to fast S bus uh, that's something that some people I think have forgotten and um, Hopefully that'll help you get that part done. Let me go ahead and stop the recording on that. <clears throat> All right. So when I first when I first got my Pablo Femto and I went through this whole process, mine was set to UART one, and I really wasn't sure what to set to. I saw another video for someone else that said UART three. It didn't help. So. Basically, I'm sorry about the beeping sound, the Pablo, whatever reason. But um, 
what I found out, it needs to be set to uh, UART5. Once you do that, and we can save and reboot, you'll see here, reconnect, and you can see that whenever I move it, it works fine. If we go to receiver, and you can see all the buttons work. And you can see everything's working, which is great. So with those settings there, hopefully it'll help you get started and get that get the uh, the Pavel Femto or something like that or another drone connected there like that's like this. Um, hopefully that helps you uh, get going. Um, I know for me it was kind of frustrating, but again, thanks so much for watching and y'all have a good one. All right, bye guys.